the Thornton School of Music, the School of Cinematic Arts, and the Leventhal School of Accounting. Also on your left, Column B is entering Alumni Park from the Northeast, which includes candidates from the Marshall School of Business and the Annenberg School for Communication and Journalism. Column C, also entering northeast corner of Alumni Park near Doheny Library, includes degree candidates from the Division of Occupational Science and Occupational Therapy. Column D, to be seated in the center of the park, consists of candidates from the Gould School of Law, the Division of Biokinesiology and Physical Therapy, as well as graduate students receiving the Doctor of Dental Science and the Doctor of Pharmacy degrees. Entering on the right from the Northeast Child's Way are degree candidates from the School of Policy, Planning and Development, candidates from the Dental Hygiene Program at the Ostrow School of Dentistry, as well as candidates from the Keck School of Medicine's Health Promotion Division and Physician Assistant Program. On your right, entering the park in columns E and F, is the USC College of Letters, Arts, and Sciences, including the Social Science Departments, the Natural Science Departments, and the Humanities Departments. Continuing in column F, Passing the video screen at the southwest corner of Alumni Park are the degree candidates of the Davis School of Gerontology, the School of Theater, the Rosky School of Fine Arts, the School of Architecture, and the Matoni School of Engineering. the USC School of Architecture, Dean Carmen Puliafito, the Keck School of Medicine of USC, Dean Madeline Puzo, the USC School of Theater, Dean Catherine Quinlan, the USC Library, Dean Robert Rasmussen, the USC Gould School of Law, Dean Avishai Sadan, the Ostrov School of Dentistry at USC. Dean Randall Pete Vanderveen, the USC School of Pharmacy. Dean Ruth Weisberg, the USC Roski School of Fine Arts. Dean Ernest Wilson, the USC Annenberg School for Communication and Journalism. And Dean Giannis Yortsos, the USC Viterbi School of Engineering. <laughs> president Stephen Browning Sample, the 10th president of the University of Southern California, marches at the end of the right-hand column wearing the gold presidential medallion of office.
Thank you, Your Honor, for that wonderful introduction. Good morning. It's an honor to be here with you on such a day filled with joy. I should begin today the way I began each of my talks, by acknowledging publicly again that the events of January 15, 2009 were the result of the efforts of many people and not just one. Now, my first officer on that January 15, 2009 flight, Jeffrey Skiles, has my eternal gratitude for his skill and his courage. He is dear to us today. But if you were, I know exactly what he would tell you and believe exactly how he would say it. He'd say, you know, after all, I deserve some recognition too, because I'm the one who flew the airplane into the birds and made selling the hero here today. <laughs> I know I'm here because of the extraordinary events of that remarkable day. But I'm what I'm here to tell you is about all the things I did for 50 years before that. But don't worry, I won't take that long. Eric Estrada. Way to come back. We're selling real estate. Sean Brackenthal. Matthew Winthrop. J. Andrew Wilson. Matthew Gilpin. Robert Webster. Edgar Vivar. Nazareth Escobedo Pinto. Thank you. Good. See, look, they gave me these instructions. <laughs> <laughs> to the lower level. Diploma. There you go. All right. Let me get a 